Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install NADN on Casa OS. So, a little bit about this series is I'm going over uh, installing a smart home. So, I'm going to go over installing things, getting things running, everything like that, and get to home automations. So, if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So we're going to get to installing it in on Casa OS. We're going to start on the Casa OS uh, dashboard. So we're going to go to the app store right here. And then we're going to type in here in in. We're going to go into it. This is a Docker container that will be running with Docker Compose. Compose is to where you can compose all the Docker containers together and you can have them connected together, talking to each other. And um, so you'll see information like category developer required memory um so now i'm going to press install right here and you can also continue in background if you want to we're going to wait just a few here so we can get it installed okay installation is complete and you can see up here that you can open it. You can show tips. There ain't no tips though, so. So, um, so uh, the settings. And um, it has a Docker container of NADN, and then it's setting a Docker tag of 0 0.232.0. And then uh, the title is NADN, and then the icon URL over here and then you can change the web UI, the HTTP and HTTPS, the IP address of your Costa OS right here, and then your 5678, that's what the port will be listening on for the NADN. You can change it between bridge, host, and um, the host port 5678, and the container port 5678, and then you can change the protocol. It'll create volumes right here for NADN. And then on the container, it'll create a volume. And then, uh, and then this syncs back and forth between together. And this is on the host, this is on the cont a container. So inside here, this is the path to get to this in the container. So we're gonna set some environment variables. So a time zone, and then it's my time zone. And um, the CPU shares is high. You can change this to low, medium, high. A privileged or non-privileged. So you can also add container commands, devices. A restart policy is unless stopped. So, uh, so if this crashes for any reason, it will restart. But if you stop it for any reason, it will not restart. So on failure, always unless stopped. So container capabilities and you can set the container host name. You can go up here to terminal and logs right here and you can see that it has a terminal access so you can go in here and you can type commands. So I'm going to go over to logs so you can see the logs that are happening inside the container. This is handy to be able to debug things. Things go wrong. So now I'm going to exit out of that. I'm gonna exit out of here. You can also export a, comp a composer file. So you can do that here and click that and save it to your hard drive. So I'm gonna exit out of that. And then now you can go over here, you can check for updates. You can uninstall, you can restart, power on and power off. So I'm gonna open it up and you can see it's asking for it set up an owner account. I'm gonna skip this for now, but you can set yours up. I'm gonna press get started on that. And then you can start adding your steps and you can, you can add triggers and then, and then have executions run. So you can execute workflow down here. So you have to add a trigger first. So I'm gonna just do a webhook. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm gonna add a Home Assistant, I'm gonna call a service. So there you go, you can set up your service and webhook and then you can press 
the workflow, the execute workflow. So I just showed you how to install NADN on COS OS, get it running, get it working. I showed you details on the settings and how it's done with the Docker Compose. It's got a nice UI to where you can go through the settings really easy and pick, uh, pick stuff what you want and you put in stuff. So, um, so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you need support, you can go on the Big Bear community down in the description and join our Discord. And also, uh, uh, if you have any video suggestions, you can comment on videos or put in the Discord uh, and the Big Bear community. So, stay tuned for more.